Construction will begin next week on a renovation and expansion of the state office building. It's right across the street from the state capitol. This has been kind of controversial, though, because this project will cost double what it did to renovate the entire state capitol building a few years ago. Chief Political Reporter Tom Hauser is live in St. Paul, where a last-ditch effort by Republicans to stop the project failed. Tom? Yeah, and Kevin, most Republicans agree that this building does need updating and renovating, but not at a cost of $730 million, which is what it would cost if you include the $230 million in interest on the debt. There is little doubt this will be a campaign issue in 2024 after Republicans tried and failed again to stop the project. We'll see what you have for us, but... Uh... Go ahead. You could call it a case of office politics, or in this case, office building politics. The chair of the Committee on Rules and Legislative Administration is instructed to inform the governor and the commissioner of management and budget that the House of Representatives as primary tenant no longer approves of this project. House Republicans tried and failed to pass that motion in the House Rules Committee to stop the renovation and expansion of the state office building. That now has encumbered the taxpayers with $730 million for one building is unconscionable. The Democratic chair of the committee said the motion was not filed in advance, so there was no further debate on the project. Representative Robbins, your motion was not submitted before the hearing and was not a part of the agenda, so I'm finding your motion out of order. This isn't the first time we've seen office building politics. They're building a new luxury office building for themselves. In 2014, a $90 million Senate office building resulted in campaign TV ads and flyers. Republicans won the House that year and the Senate two years later. The new state office building for House members will cost taxpayers eight times more. I, I can't fathom we are really going to go ahead with this, members. So I'm just asking you to pull back. Now, again, the actual cost of the construction on this project is about $500 million with $230 million in interest. Now, late this afternoon, the Minnesota Department of Administration told Five Eyewitness News construction site preparation for the construction will begin next week and the building will be closed after the 2024 session so that substantial construction can begin on the interior of the existing building. All of the lawmakers will have to be relocated for two years. No estimate yet on what that will cost. Live in St. Paul, Tom Hauser, 5 Eyewitness News.